This is a question though. Coming from you, Al D three hundred. Top five most culturally influential rappers two thousand ten to two thousand twenty. Top five. This is not best lyricist. This is culturally influential. Drake. Okay. K dot. Okay. I actually will agree, yeah. like, Chief Keith. That's top three. Yeah, like, maybe two. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. shit is. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 Migos have had like a murderous I, run. I agree with you. This they even only, call this shit culture. Yeah. Um, Chief Keith, you also said Chief Keith. Keith, yes. I sure. think undoubtedly. I think Chief Keith may be the most culturally influential rapper in the last 10 years. No. Culturally. I put it's, Wayne, it's, I put it's Wayne It's very there. hard when somebody's been going for a few years before 2010 and still. That champion, Drake is the champion. Yeah. So it's like from seven, since he came in the game, never took his foot out the gas. He's the man. Like he's you can't fuck with him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's a big deal. Then you got people that have when you start talking about culture. What about niggas like culture? like Wiz Khalifa with the weed culture? Two thousand ten to I 20. feel like it already existed. I think that you just he just real replaced well, a person in that lane, you replace Snoop Dogg okay, as okay. the weed person, but that shit Keith do, that shit he did that. Yeah, you ain't had no Man. no look of that before him. Easy me, I get him seen a lot of Chief Keith type videos probably. <laughs> yeah, that nigga makes them. <laughs> That's what he makes Chief Keith videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, I'm just picking your brain. Why we talking about Drake? This make me want to go to something else I seen that you posted online. Mm -hmm. You posted your top ten rappers of all time. Oh yeah, for your sure. own personal list. Yeah, and you had I can't remember. I remember you had Wayne on there. Yeah, I think Wayne. I had him in number two. Jay-Z number one. Yeah, yourself on them? Yeah, at three or five. Oh, oh no, no, no. I had Jay-Z first. Yeah. I think I had Wayne second. I think I had Biggie third. Biggie's a motherfucker, man. Uh, you recently redid Biggie, uh, Kicking the Dope. Yes. Yes, for sure. Yeah, you I had that. myself five. I had uh, Kiki. Okay. Uh, Key, seven, 13. I had him. Uh, I had him six. Okay, that's a good one. I had uh, Kendrick. Um, okay. Okay. Who oh, all I had? Okay, I'm looking at it now. You had Jay Z, yeah. Wayne, Biggie at three, Pimp C at four. Pimp. Oh yeah. Uh, you had yourself at five. Yeah. Kiki at uh six. Pocket yeah. seven. Pocket seven. Rick Ross at eight. Rose, yeah. Uh, for sure. Kendrick Lamar mm -hmm. at nine and Champagne Poppy Drake at ten. Yeah. Okay. That was my favorite. That was like a list that I call like my my personal yeah. list. And you gotta understand the criteria. I felt like the criteria of lyricism and you know rap yeah. has to extend beyond. Just what you doing on my it's gotta it's gotta be your life it's gotta be included. Yeah, it's, you gotta really embody some of that. Yeah. You can't just get on a mic and then go be Clark Kent. You know what <laughs> I mean? Over here now. Nah, you yeah. gotta yeah. you gotta have that. So when I start looking at people that have influenced me that embody culture from a standpoint of like uh you know, like really embodying what they say. Right. And being ill, yeah. I ain't saying that you gotta be a fucking crazy man killer, but I'm saying like, you can't be sitting up there telling me yeah. that you just such a great boss, 
And then and then and you sitting up here working for go ahead clock in for a nigga and shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You telling me what I ought to do, but then you don't even got your publishing and none of that shit. Right. Like you can't I don't wanna hear that because in time it'll burn itself out. But but some people can overcome the rule yeah. because they such great artists and that's like Biggie. Hmm. Man, rhyme schemes this nigga was so fucking great, so fucking ahead of his time that, you know, it trumps the fact he plus he, he passed when he was twenty four or some 24, shit. Early. Right. So just to be that ill on the mic, turn the beat on cadences, yeah. stories. Yeah. Like like really that. Jay Z, I love Jay Z on the microphone, I love him off the mic. Yeah, Jay Z to me is just another level of greatness. Another level. I don't think we'll ever be able to see that again. If we do see anything like that, man. but the closest thing that Texas has to a Lil Wayne and all of that type of shit yeah. is Kiki. Okay, Pimp C. No, no, Pimp C is past. He's he's yeah. gone. Okay, I got what you're saying. Now he did start with music in you know at that 16. I'm talking about publicly, yeah. like out there. Like, I think they first shit came out, he was probably 17 or some shit. Right. So, yeah, you know, we get that. We respect that. We salute that. Well. Man, Kiki been a non-rapper since he was like 16 years old, man. Yeah. Like, that's... I don't think that we really give... Because sometimes when you can really touch somebody, yeah. it don't seem as live. Yeah. You know what I mean? That a person have never had a job in life before. Yeah. You know, we don't really respect that <laughs> because it ain't came with platinum plaques and all of that shit. Yeah. But Nick was making that, that platinum street money though. I think that people don't really give yeah. that shit the full that man's still right here. Really? You know what I mean? Like I don't I don't really think that people give him his call. I'm talking about yeah, fuck. albums too. A lot of bodies are too much work. Yeah. And the other day he was on you know, they've been talking about this shit lately, you know what I'm saying? He need to let me be his lawyer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Instead of speaking for sometimes when you speak for yourself, yeah. man, you alienate a lot of people because a lot of people don't like to hear it out the horse's mouth right. about some shit you done did that like if my if DJ say, like, Man, I've been I've been shooting these videos now and I'm the man, I done shot a thousand videos. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I, you know, it wouldn't sound right coming from him, but if somebody else somebody said, else said yeah. right, you know what I mean? I so think that too. when it comes to like the dumb man, he he fucking is the close he's the most consistent. He's had the longest career of anybody that we know. Yeah. You know, outside of Bond B. Yeah. You know what I mean? Coming from screwed up click. Everybody. Coming from the screwed up, coming from like that's yeah. that's coming from nothing. Off the top of your head, yeah. picking up a pen and paper. They know that song. You go to fucking Canada, they didn't they know the South Side. The, and to oh, and to yeah. still have some stick today, that's that's I always say if something is so easy, then you should do it. Yeah. Or if you feel like it's nothing to this shit, yeah. then who can you name like that? That have been rapping from they six, from teenage years into their forties, I guess, or whatever, and to still have some sense of relevance. Mm -hmm. And then the list becomes fucking, you know, short as fuck. Yeah. So you know, I think, I think Kiki. you got to salute. Him. I definitely, man. Shout out Kiki, man. Uh, I fucking love that, that commission. Don't mess with Texas. That was my shit. Yeah. That shit was one of my shits, man. Yeah. For real. Yeah. All right.